Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look that I have on right here. I don't know, I was feeling really dramatic this morning. Today's Sunday, um, meal prep day, so after this I'm just going to the grocery store. I'm going to be looking real extra at the grocery store. But I really love how this came out. I was searching Pinterest and Instagram last night trying to get some inspo and nothing was really jumping out at me so I had to just like open up all my palettes and stare at them for a long time. But I ended up doing this together. I used probably way more products than necessary but I love how it came out and I actually wish that I was going somewhere. So um, if you want to see how I put this together then just keep watching. Okay so I obviously already have my foundation, brows, concealer done so we're going to jump right into the eyes. I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Original Primer Potion just on my little finger there and I'm going to put that all over my eyes to prime for shadows. And make sure not to poke yourself in the eye if you have claws like me. Yes. Okay. So after I have the primer all set in, I'm going to take my Morphe E20 and going into my Tartlet in Bloom palette. I'm going to be mixing the shades Charmer and Flower Child just to set that primer potion. After I have the primer set, we're going to go into the transition shade, which is going to be the shade Smarty Pants on my favorite crease brush ever, the Morphe M504, and we're just going to buff that into the crease in windshield wiper motions. This palette is beat to death. When I first got it, I just used it nonstop. It's such a beautiful palette. Um, it's something that I would re cons er, consider repurchasing it once I kill all of the shadows. So for the next shade, I'm going to go into my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Ugh, smells so good, especially since I'm on a diet. It smells even better. So I'm going to be taking the color Milk Chocolate right there and on a smaller crease brush. Smaller crease brush. I'm going to be putting that into my natural crease line. So right below the color Smarty Pants. Yes, buff that in. Yes, yes. Okay, so that obviously deepens up the color. Um, I was in a good mood when I was filming this thing. Hmm. See that? Mm, embarrassing. Okay, so <laughs> next I'm going to be taking a smaller um, blending brush. This is for the outer corner, ma mainly what I use it for. And taking that shade Rebel, which is a muted burgundy, I want to say. I'm going to deposit most of the color in the outer corner before I start drawing it inward towards the center of the eye. Well, not the center, the inner corner of the eye. There you go. You see that? And then taking my M504 with no additional product and getting some caffeine in, I'm just going to blend all those colors together until my arms fall off. And now for some glitter. I'm going to be taking the color Firecracker, which is a such a pretty like antique gold. And I'm on a flat shader brush. I'm going to be putting that on the lid. I'm not really going towards the outer corner, mostly sitting towards the center and the inner corner. But that wasn't enough for me. So I went into the um, chocolate bar palette and I picked up the color Creme Brulee and put that over it just to give it a little bit more of a pop. Didn't really make much difference on camera though. Hmm. And to deepen up the outer V, I'm going to take a small pencil brush and the color leader and then put that in the outer corner only. I don't drag this color in towards the center. I just keep that in um, the outer corner. Yes. And you can put it as dark as you want. I wanted it a little bit darker without going overboard because I knew I was going to end up going in with liner anyway. Um, so your preference really. And then taking that um, crease brush that I use the color milk chocolate on, I'm just going to blend everything together again. More caffeine, yes. And then I realized I still needed more sparkles. So taking ColourPop's Nillionaire on my little finger there. Make sure not to poke yourself in the eye if you have claws again. And I'm just putting that all over the other two shimmer shadows I already have on there. ColourPop shadows are perfect when you just want something a little bit extra. They, they work best with the fingers, though. I find with the brush, they're wasted. 
So then taking a makeup wipe, I'm just going to clean up any of the areas I went outside of the lines. Um, I didn't really think this through though. I put foundation on today first. So just going back in with my beauty blender, I fixed up any of the areas I messed up. And now taking that color leader again on a flat concealer brush, I'm going to line the lower lash line. And I do bring it outwards a little, little bit to um, emphasize that wing a little. And then taking an even smaller pencil brush, I'm going to take the color Rebel and blend that out. And then <laughs> this next part here, I meant to go back into the color Smarty Pants. And then when I was watching the footage, I realized I picked up the color Sweetheart instead. And I blended that out with my M504. Um, but hey, you know, it worked out in the end. It's fine. It's just a little bit more of a pinky shade. And then taking the color Champagne Truffle on a concealer brush, I'm going to actually just highlight the brow bone with that. You can't really see it on camera, but in person it's really pretty. It's a little sheen to it. And with my Maybelline Lash Accelerator, we're going to go ahead and prep the lashes for falsies. Actually, I forgot to do my eyeliner first. I normally do, so we're going to do it a little bit backwards today. So taking my um, NYX Matte Liquid Liner, yes, we're going to create that wing girl. I like to start with the wing portion first. My battery died. So I start with the wing portion first and then um, I will connect it with the inner part after. Creating the wing first just gets the hard part out of the way. So yes, if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how I do my wing, just let me know. And I hit my elbow there because I'm a hot mess. So then you curl your lashes and then you put some falsies on. So I'm using my favorite Coco lashes today in the style Demi G because I like a dramatic lash. I think I cut these too much though. So I had to throw them away because I didn't like the way they looked. So after you get the lashes on and, you know, looking extra dramatic for no reason, we're going to put the Rimmel Lash Accelerator on the lower lashes. Look at that stupid face. Ugh. Okay, so for the rest of the face now, we're going to take the Cheekathon palette and taking my Hoola bronzer that I hit pan on, I'm going to bronze up the areas of my face. So like my cheek, I didn't really do a contour today. Um, cheeks, jawline, forehead, you know, all the usual places where I think the sun might hit me. Make my face look a little slimmer. And I was lazy with contouring the nose today, so I just used the uh, Benefit um, little brush that comes in all their powders. And then to clean that up a little bit, I picked up my RCMA No Color Powder on my little sponge and just put that underneath the Hoola bronzer. For blush today, I took the Urban Decay Afterglow in the color Fetish. This is such a pretty blush. I thought it was going to be too pink, but it's really not. It's so natural, so feminine. It's one of my favorites. So I make that stupid smiley face, and then I just brush that on the apples, and then bring it up towards the temple. And then taking my Real Techniques powder brush, I just dust away all that powder beard so I stop looking crazy. And my skin's been extra dry lately, so I've been using a lot of spray. This is the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist, and I love this thing. It smells awesome. It's great. So for highlighting, I'm taking the um, Nicole Guerrero and ABH kit, and I'm taking the color Glow Getter. I use that one the most. On a little detailer brush, I'm just putting that on the inner corner for some uh, more highlight. And then also I'm taking the color Glow Getter again and highlighting my cheekbones and my cupid's bow with that as well. Like I've said before, I don't bring it close to the nose because it emphasizes the pores that are right there. So, yeah. Middle up to the temple. Mm, but that wasn't enough for me. So I went in with Becca's Opal and I put that right over Glow Getter and it... Apparently was enough for me then. I love the way it came out though. Like I'm, I'm gonna do this for work tomorrow. I don't care. For a lip today, I couldn't decide. I, these are the Wet and Wild liquid lipsticks. I couldn't. They're Goth Topic and Video Vixen. I ended up going with Goth Topic. It's a little bit more of like a purpley tone. Um, Video Vixen has a little bit of a better formula. Goth Topic was a little streaky. I had to put a few more layers on it, but it was fine. And there you go, guys. This is the final look. Um, I really love the way that this came out. Like I said, I wish that I was going somewhere instead of just Vons. 
but I love a dark lip. It just makes me feel some type of way. Um, I think every girl should have a dark lip. It's just something different from the everyday go-to looks. So yeah. All right, guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Hold up.